All right, yay. <laughs> Had a time getting this thing set up today, sorry. Um, also, sorry, I'm like two hours. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this so it's a little bit more straight. Maybe, did that help? No. I can't tell which way I need to turn it. There we go. All right. Hey, Kara, how's it going? I don't know why this light looks so weird. Does that help at all? It seems a lot darker than usual. I don't know why. Well, probably because it's dark outside. That's probably why. Well, no, it's not, it's not dark outside. Why is it so... It seems a lot darker than normal today. I don't know. Anyway. Um, hi, guys. So, um... <laughs> hey Ellie, <laughs> glad the title made you laugh. I thought of that. And I thought it was funny. So, um, so I'm hoping my Kindle at least la at least lasts long enough for us to at least get the outline done. Um, so I'm going to be doing this. Um. This picture of Sally Gizmo, if I can get it centered so you guys can see it. There you go. Um, I did a version of it in pencil and crayon, but um, I wanted to do an acrylic version. And I've got a bunch of wires everywhere because my Kindle's almost dead. So I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping that with the... Um, I'm hoping that with the Kindle plugged up to my laptop it'll at least hold the charge at 16 percent until we can get the um until we can get the uh get the get the outline drawn um so yeah hope you guys had a good sunday so far hello guys i'm so excited sorry i i can never get this i think it's because the sorry that made it worse um, I just need to quit messing with it. Okay. Anyway, um, I think it's because I have to clip my phone in under my pop socket, which is in the middle of my phone. So the, the tripod holds my phone like literally right at the end. So it's always like cockeyed, but, um, so I'm going to try to do this sketch of Sal and Gizmo. Hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> Um, I have not restarted the chapter five yet because I'm still salty about the fact that it didn't save that one stupid puzzle piece, but it's fine. Um, this is not a community art giveaway. It's just for me, but I wanted to do it on stream so you guys could see it. Um... Yeah, I might have to turn it a little bit so I can see it better. So, apologies for any weird angles. And hopefully, since this was an artist's rendition of this, hopefully I don't get copyright struck for that. But Because the image is in the shot and I don't have room to scoot it over <laughs> out of shot. So, um, anyway... So we're going to try this, see how it works. I I last drew this on Valentine's Day, actually. Um, I was recovering from having COVID, and uh, Valentine's Day was my last day in quarantine. So I wanted to draw a picture of Sal, and I... I've found that when I draw people, um, I have the easiest time with, like, anime style, um, because of, like, it doesn't have to be perfect looking and, like, the sharp edges and everything, it's like, not everything has to be, like, symmetrical and everything, which I absolutely love, because, um... Symmetry is not my friend. 
<laughs> usually when I'm drawing, like ever. And I know, I know like the pencil sketching is going to be really, really light and you guys are probably not going to be able to see a whole lot of it. So apologies for that, but I'll try to hurry up and get this sketched out here so that you guys can see it once we start <laughs> painting it. But, um, hopefully you guys had a good Sunday. If you go to church, hopefully you enjoyed your church service. If not, I hope you just had a relaxing weekend. Um, I had a good Sunday. I got to hang out with, with Kara Castle Series' mom. We hadn't hung out in a long time, and I got to have lunch with her and hang out with her. It was really fun. Also, Kara, I did not know your parents got a Rottweiler, so I got to meet her today, and she's super sweet. I think your mom was a little self-conscious, because she was, like, super hyper, like, the whole time I was there. And, um... So, um... It was just funny because she was like a thousand percent energy pretty much the whole time I was there. And I think your mom was getting a little self-conscious about it. <laughs> she kept apologizing. I was like, it's fine. But she's really sweet. And, like, honestly, like, and I mean, it, honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal because, like, that's what sink, it's what sinks and, um, washing machines are for. But, like, honestly, the only thing that, if I can even call it an issue because it wasn't bothering me that bad. And I even told, Kara, I even told your mom, I was like, if it looks like it's bothering me, I'm sorry, it's not. But, um, because <laughs> she was like drooling everywhere because <laughs> she's a rottweiler so there was a lot of slobber and which i know she can't help it poor baby but it was just funny because she was like trying to trying to calm down and she was drooling everywhere and <laughs> but we had a good time Can you guys even, well, first of all, I'm drawing outside of, um, I'm drawing outside of the frame, so you guys can't even, even if I was trying, even if I was drawing darker, you guys still can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just working on the top of his hair right now. Sal's hair. Literally the most energetic crawl water I've ever met. Wait, what? Hold on. I missed something. Oh, Ellie's asking. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, our Kara was asking if, oh, uh, yeah. Ah! Well, thank goodness that wasn't an open bottle of liquid. That was just a bottle of paint. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped thing in the floor, part five of whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought the Comic-Con... Well, considering, I don't know if it was bigger than, I don't know if it was bigger than the last one that we went to, but, um, I don't know. I thought it was pretty decent sized. The one yesterday. So for those of you that don't know, Kara, Kara Stanton cereals and Kara Castle cereal, sorry. Kara Castle cereals and um, Yugi and I all went to Comic-Con yesterday. And 
I thought it was I thought it was a pretty good turnout. There was a bunch of people and I think it was actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting. But I mean, like I said, it was definitely smaller than the last one we went to, but still think I was able to I mean I definitely I definitely was able to get you know I didn't have I mean the only thing I had in mind that I really like wanted to look for and get I got not yesterday um so for those of you that don't know um Kara and Ellie you guys know this but um Ellie and I started watching an anime last Monday week ago yesterday tomorrow and, um, I have never really been a fan of anime, only because I've never really given it a good, honest try before. <laughs> um, I've never really found, like, it just never was that interesting to me. And, that's too, I think I need to go up a little higher, that's too low. Um... Ellie's been trying to get me into it for years, and I just never was really that interested in it, um, until I had a couple other people tell me about this anime called, um, uh, I always want to call it Finding Neverland. It's not Finding Neverland. Um, Promise Neverland. And, um... So, I had several or a couple friends tell me about that one. Like, if you're trying to get into anime, like, definitely, like, give this one a try. It's really good. So, I asked Ellie if she'd ever seen it before, and she said no. So, I hung out with her uh, last Monday on Memorial Day. And um, we were going to watch a movie, and she asked if I wanted to start that anime that I had suggested to her. And she asked if I'd watched it yet. I said no. So... Needless to say, we sat down and we got hooked on the first episode. <laughs> so that's my second current um, hyperfixation um, next to Sally Face. Um, so um, one of the characters... Um, his name's Ray, and it's, uh, the, the show is about, um, these kids who live in a, um, they live in an orphanage, and, um, without giving away too much of the plot, um, just suffice it to say that it's, it is an orphanage, but there's some shady stuff going on within the orphanage, and... The mom, who's like the owner of owner slash um like leader, I guess, at the orphanage, she um she is raising the kids to sell them um and again for Spoiler purposes, I'm not going to say who she's selling them to or for what purpose. You'll just have to go check it out yourself. But, um, but the, the, uh, orphanage has some shady, shady practices and some shady background. So a couple of the kids find out about it and they try to come up with a plan to help all the kids escape um, before they all die, so it's a very <laughs> it's a very intense anime, at least from what I mean. This is my very first anime I've ever watched, so I don't know. Maybe that's pretty timid for for anime. I don't know, but it's very it's very intriguing. It's it's a thriller one, so if you like thriller stuff, definitely check it out. But yeah, it's called The Promise Neverland. It's on Hulu and Netflix. So, um, and probably other streaming services too. But 
those were the ones that we found them on. Um, I have Netflix and Ellie's got Hulu, so. Um, but yeah, we were watching that and going nuts because we had no idea what was going on at first. And then, then they were started to kind of reveal what was going on and we were very intrigued. <laughs> It's actually really low compared to two years ago when I went. Two years ago, the line wrapped around the building. It took 20 minutes to get in once the doors opened. Oh, wow. Well, for me, it seemed like there was a lot of people there, but I guess not. I mean, then again, this is only my third, con well, fourth, technically, if you count the first one that I went to, like, four years ago, three or four years ago. But... Um, but yeah, that one seemed pretty, pretty big. I still felt like I was bumping into a lot of people <laughs> and I didn't even have my, I didn't even have my guitar with me. So probably would have bumped into a lot more if I had my guitar. <laughs> and yes, for those of you that don't know, I did go with Sally Face. Um, however... I got really excited because the last Comic Cons that we've been to, I haven't seen another Sal. And we weren't there for very long. And um, this other girl was dressed up as Sal. And I did the scar makeup, like under, like what his face would look like under the mask because I ran out of white face paint. Um, but this girl, she did, um, she had like a plastic mask that she'd painted and decorated and stuff. And, um, her outfit looked super cool. She had, like, a My Chemical Romance t-shirt and some, like, black skinny jeans. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, she had, she had some stuff, too. It was, it was, her outfit was really cool. And then Kara saw, um, another girl that was dressed as Sal, too. And she actually had a cat with her, fake cat, I think, but... Um, she had Giz Gizmo with her, um, and, but Kara said she got away before she could grab her and show, and point her out to me. She was headed outside the door when she, when Kara saw her, so we didn't, I didn't get it, I didn't get to see her. But... Yeah, I think we all we all had a good at least I had I had a good time. I think Kara and Ellie did too. Then we went to the mall and hung out. Which was actually okay, so a funny, funny story. So we we got down at the con and we still had like some time to kill. Um it was still kinda early in the day, so we um we decided to go to the local mall, which was only like a three minute drive from um, from where the Comic Con was at. So we um, we drove down there, and like I said, I had the I had the scar makeup on, and um, I mean I thought I I mean I tried my best to make it look realistic. Um, without getting, like, too, I mean, it's scars. It's not, it wasn't, like, fresh wounds or anything, because I didn't want to, like, get kicked out for it being too gory. <laughs> but, um, but I did the, like I said, I did the scar makeup, so, um, I tried my best to make it look as realistic as possible. And we went into one of the stores, and I bought, I bought some stuff and was standing in line, and the cashier... <laughs> The cashier said hi to me and, like, asked if I'd found everything okay or whatever. And I was like, yeah. Well, then she didn't look at me again after that. And she got, like, really, really quiet. And, I mean, it, like, it didn't it didn't bother me none. I don't, I didn't care. But, because, I mean, I know some people have, like, you know, some people have a hard time with eye contact. Or, you know, they, they just don't like talking to people. So... 
I was like, yeah, you know, that's, you know, or maybe she's just having a bad day. You know, I'm not like, I don't, it's not bothering me none. So I just kind of stood there. She rang me up. And then as I was paying, <laughs> she said, she said, okay, this is extremely indelicate of me. She's like, and if I'm so wrong, if I'm wrong, she's like, this is about to be super awkward for both of us. She <laughs> said, but is that, she said, is that makeup? And I was like, oh, yeah, it is. I was like, we just came from Comic-Con. <laughs> and she said, she was like, oh, my goodness. Thank oh, my word. She's like, I'm so thankful. She said, I, she's like, I was afraid to ask. She's like, because I thought it was fake. She said, but I was afraid that, I was afraid that it was going to be real. And then it was going to be like, I was going to like offend you or something. I was like, no, no. I was like, you're fine. I was like, I'm, I was like, thanks for the compliment, though. I was like, I'm, it's it made my day knowing that I did it. Um, I did it, like, realistic enough that you had to take a, you had to, you had to ask whether it was real or not. <laughs> Aw, yeah, you girl, you girls are the best. Like, I definitely love hanging out with both of you. And we definitely need to do something with the three of us again soon. I cannot get Gizmo's eye right. Being too... OCD about it. Somebody used the it's fine. <laughs> it's fine and tell me to move on. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm being, like, this, like, OCD about the, like, half of this is going to get covered up with paint anyway, so I don't know why I'm, like, I mean, I still want it to look nice, but, and so far, my Kindle is holding a charge at 16%, so that's what I was hoping it would do, like, keeping it, um, plugged in would at least hold the charge where it was at so so that's what it's doing so yay he's most got his little tongue sticking out <laughs> it's cute <laughs> Okay. Now Gizmo's got some markings on his face. There we go. All right, Gizmo has a head. <laughs> gonna I'm jumping back and forth between Gizmo and Sal but gonna fill in Sal's boys He's looking a little, hold on, it was a perfect circle and it's not centered. <laughs> We're going for Sal, not Pennywise. That was a perfect circle too, doggone it. Okay. It's fine. Okay. 
There, that's better. Okay. I don't know. Well, you guys can see a little bit of it. Kind of. <laughs> it's very... I'm trying to go white so that... I mean, like I said, the paint's probably going to cover up most of the pencil anyway, but... I don't want the pencil marks to be super sharp and dark. Well, actually, maybe I do, because I think when I'm done painting this, I think I'm going to go over it with the um, fine tip pen and kind of outline everything. I think <laughs> that's what I was debating about doing earlier today so of course that's pro I'm sure that's not going to be today especially since we're getting such a late start and that's my bed <laughs> which I mean I'm, I'm glad I was able to spend time with Tracy that was much much needed so Definitely spending time with friends is more important than stream time, so. And I knew I was going to get a late start today anyway, so it all worked out. Alright. They both got heads and faces. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but. Maybe. Maybe. That did nothing. Can you guys see that? No, that did not help. Okay. Well, sorry, you guys probably aren't going to be able to see this until, <laughs> until I start painting it. Because... Ah, uh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> I, I'm, if you guys can see it, that's great. Because when I'm looking at it on the, on the replay, I can't... I can see the board, but I can't see the... I can't see the pencil on it. Aw, thanks, Kara. I'm trying. Like I said, the, like, this this style, like, the anime, I'm, I'm calling it anime style because it's very, like, angular. Drawing people, this is the, this is the style that I prefer because it's not dependent upon it being super accurate and, like, proportionate, which is nice. Um, and one, this is... The, the pencil drawing that I did was one of my favorites. Not just because it's Sal and Gizmo, but <laughs> I really like how it turned out. But also, and I've shown this one, um, I've, I've shown this one on the stream before, if I can remember where it is. Um, what's over here? Oh. I did this drawing of, it was like a Christmas Pennywise. Um, and I've showed this on stream before, um, but this was one of the first drawings that I did, and I really like how it turned out. And it's like the same style, like anime, very like angular, and more focus is on like, um, more focus is on, like, I can't speak English, good grief. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's, like, it's not super focused on accuracy and perfection. It's not supposed to, it's not meant to look realistic, so I guess is what I'm trying to say, English. <laughs> All right. Let's try to give these guys some torsos. Now, the only thing I'm, like, worried about is Sal's hand. 
I'm terrible at drawing hands to begin with. <laughs> And his hand, because it's like wrapped around Gizmo, it's like sitting like this. If <laughs> you can even see that. It's like curved around like, like that. And it's like super awkward position. And I had a lot of trouble with it when I did the, pen the crayon drawing of it. So, but we won't get to that for a bit. All right. Let's give Salios a body. I'll finish his hair. His hair, he's got a couple stray pieces of hair down here. Alright. And sorry if the pencil on the on the canvas is sounding like nails on a chalkboard to people. I'm trying not to <laughs> I'm trying not to scrape it too much. But that's kind of hard to do. Um just seeing as like the material it's made out of, but That all has some really long, thick hair, and I'm jealous. Because <laughs> I can grow my hair out, but the longer it gets, the stringier it gets. And so I usually try to keep it cut pretty short. The only reason I'm growing it out right now is because of Comic-Con. <laughs> and, yeah, Comic-Con and Halloween, possibly. So I'll have blue hair until at least October. <laughs> and then we'll see. We'll see after that if I want to go a different color. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Right. Sally have some hair now. Now we gotta give him a torso. Or try to anyway. I might have to I might have to do since he's holding Gizmo. I might have to jump back and forth between Gizmo and Sal, just depending on how this goes. I can't remember. I can't remember how I did it last time. Try to sharpen up these lines so I know which for sure which ones to paint and which ones not to. Okay. Um. I can't remember how I did this last time. Uh.
necessarily like how that looks, but we can always fix it. Okay. Remember that Loki print I bought at Comic Con yesterday, the collab that I was able to get signed by both artists. Tag both artists in my Instagram post about the art today. They both liked it after the first five minutes of it being posted. I was a little too excited about that. <laughs> oh, that's so fun though, Kara. Ah, yay! That's so fun though. Like, like if it if if it makes you feel any better, I would do the same. I would be like screaming. Oh, I I actually did. I actually did do that. Um. The other day, um, there's a, uh, I follow one of the Five Nights at Freddy's voice actors on TikTok, and, um, he, I'm gonna move this so I can try to clear off some of these eraser shavings off my sheet carpet, carpet, this is not a carpet, direct, this thing, <laughs> I can't English today, um, but anyway, so I follow, um, I follow one of the voice actors from the five from the FNAF games, um, and Elliot's um, canvas. Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, it's Andy Fields and Ellie. He does the voice of um, Hand Unit um, in Sister Location and Help Wanted um, and um, Security Breach. But um, this mom had posted a video about how her son wanted to have a Five Nights at Freddy's birthday party. And she knew nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> and she was like, okay, so he's, like, obsessed with this, like, terrifying, like, teddy bear. She's like, and he wants to have this birthday party and I don't know what to do and, and all this stuff. <laughs> And then Andy duet or uh stitched it and um and he like he was like oh yeah he's like just he's like if you don't know he's like I I voiced one of the characters and like I hope you have a happy birthday buddy and he did this like super special like birthday message and it was like really sweet and then I was like oh Andy I was like you're awesome and then he re he liked my comment and replied back to it and was like no you're awesome and I was like ah But I got super excited about that. And then um, there's this other, or she's a she's a singer, and um, they had done. She and this other singer had collabed and done a um, a version of um, "I Dreamed a Dream" from. Um, all right, not a, I dreamed a dream. I had a dream from um, Mamma Mia. And um, one of the ladies is pregnant. I can't remember when she's due exactly, but um, she's pretty far along. And so, like, they were sitting on... In the it, and the one the pregnant lady she sings in a stairwell usually so like it does like really good reverbs and everything it sounds really pretty and so like she the two two of them were sitting on a stairwell singing um singing the song from Les Mis not Les Mis Mamma Mia and um and I was like I commented I said I swear I was like if that baby doesn't come out singing I'm gonna throw some hands. <laughs> Wait, Ellie, who's who's Dan who's Dan Green? I feel like I should know who that is, but I don't know who that is. I'm blanking at the moment. Who is that? Is 
American voice. Oh, voice of Yugi and you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can imagine you'd be pretty excited about that if one of them responded, or if he he responded. That's funny. I feel like I'm drawing Gizmo a little too skinny. Gizmo's a fat cat, but he'll he'll get his little chunk here in a second. Gizmo's a big cat. We've only done his front paw after all, so he'll get his chunky body here in a sec. <laughs> okay, now this is the part that I was having such a hard time with because. This arm, his, so I guess technically it's Sal's left arm, is like tucked under Gizmo so you can't really see it. But his right hand is the one that's like all wonky and it's like sitting on top of Gizmo. So like hold him. So it's like this hand. And it's like super wonky and weird. <laughs> and I had such a hard time drawing it last time. So hopefully... Hopefully I don't have any problems with it because we might be here for the rest of the stream with me trying to draw this hand. <laughs> I might not actually get any painting done. We'll see. What time is it? It's oh, Okay, it's not as I thought it was like closer to nine. Um, I mean, we could go... T well, it's... We, we've... Excuse me. We've got like 45 minutes till not... Excuse me, nine o'clock, so... We'll we'll try to we'll try to get as much done as we can. We're gonna be optimistic. I know we're definitely at least gonna get the get the sketch done. Um hopefully. Cause literally after his after his hand, I just have to sketch the rest of Gizmo and the rest of this arm and Sal's like stomach and gal's gal gizmo's tail and then that's it for the sketch so um so yeah so the sketch is almost done except i forgot some stuff up here didn't give sal a neck i mean it did kind of but didn't give him an opening to his t-shirt <laughs> um That's how it looks in the picture. I don't know what kind of t-shirt that is, but all right. Okay, here we go. Like I said, this was the part that I was, like, concerned about the most being, like, weird. So, hopefully, Lord, help me be able to do this in, like, one or two takes. <laughs> so, I'm not sitting here for 30 minutes trying to draw this hand. such long spindly I'm going to turn, I'm going to, have to turn this a little bit um he has such long like spindly fingers <laughs> Again, I'm terrible at hands, so this is probably going to be the worst part of the drawing. <laughs> Painting. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Okay, it's fine.
It is not fun. I hate this. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me at least try to get the full no. His pinky is not broken. Let's not put the pinky at a 90 degree angle to the rest of his hand. I'm gonna at least try to draw the rest of it and then we'll try to fix it. Emphasis on try. <laughs> that finger looks broken, but it's fine. Okay. All of his fingers look broken. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Again, I cannot draw hands. Um, and I'm not kidding when I tell you that th this hand, when I drew it the last time, took me like an hour. So, apologies if this is all we do for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Okay, that's not, actually that's not too bad. I just need to pull his wrist out a little more because his wrist is too, too small. Okay, it's not great. But okay, well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just ugh, I don't like his wrist. It looks weird. <laughs> okay, well, part of Gizmo's body's down here anyway, so hold on, we'll just let's let's sketch in the rest of Gizmo and then go from there. That, that'll have to do. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. <laughs> you guys said it looks good, so I'm taking your word for it. <laughs> I still don't like how it looks, but actually I'm going to try to... I said I wasn't going to mess with it anymore, but let me, let me try to pull this line up and see if that makes it look any better. No, that makes it look worse. Okay. <laughs> actually, wait, hold on. Let me... Yeah, that made it worse. Okay, it's fine. We're leaving it. Okay, and then his other hand is like right here. I'm running off the paint, off the canvas a little bit, <laughs> but it's just a sketch. You can always fix it later. This is true. Okay, it's growing on me, so... Okay, all right, so that's his hand. That's Gizmo's butt. <laughs> so let's, let's get... say what that looks like. Um. <laughs> better. <laughs> that last one did not look right. Okay. 
That's supposed to be Gizmo's other foot. It does not look like a foot, but... I gotta check on the horses. Okay. Alright, so... Sal's arm comes up. That'll leave room for Gizmo's tail, so... <clears throat> uh, well, I have to draw that a little bit longer because either that or make. Hold on. Again, proportions are not my strong suit. <laughs> um, let's see. Because I don't want his forearm to be like 10 miles long, but... This is, I'm going to have to kind of wing this part because it's going to look different than the picture. Okay. Gizmo's still fat. It's fine. <laughs> Cat tail, Put a little spot down here. Yeah, we might actually get a little bit painted on this, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's taken me an hour to sketch this thing out. I didn't think it would take this long, but all right. Improvising <laughs> a little bit. Okay. All right. I don't still don't really like how that looks, but his arms. But um. All right. So there's the main sketch. I cannot see it on the replay. So hope you guys can see that. Okay. Oh no. Sorry. Whoops. I missed. Hold on. Sal does not have a stomach. That's not good. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna make that a little. 
That was a little chunky, but not that chunky. Okay. There, that's better. Okay. All right. Done with the outline. So, all right. Gonna get a drink because I'm really thirsty. This line is still visible. It's fine. It's not your. See it under the paint. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right. Oh shoot! I forgot I left my. Um, I'll be back two seconds. I forgot I left my um. Paint pan in the other room. I had to clean it before the stream started and. I forgot to bring it back in here. Okay, all right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna have to clean my desk off too. I'm covered in, or, whoops, sorry. Covered in eraser shavings. Okay. All right, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. Just need to get them out of the way. <laughs> um, all right. So I need. Okay, I think. Well, no, I can't do that. Um, actually, I can. I'll flip it. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to do. Trying to figure out how I'm going to set this up because I still need to look at the reference picture for the colors. But um, it still needs to be plugged in because it's only at sixteen percent. But I've got very limited desk space, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this up against the wall. Hopefully, Lord willing, it'll stay standing up and it won't fall over because that's not going to be good. I think it'll be propped up enough on the on the blanket. It'll be okay. Um, hopefully. Okay. All right. So... I need blue. We're going to do his hair first. Naturally. Sal's hair first. words of what's his name um i said this in my last art stream i think oh, what's his name anyway the um the brother in um uh mrs doubtfire that's gay um <laughs> robin williams the guy that plays robin williams's brother he's like all right everyone let's pray <laughs> get started on the get started on the look and that sounded very terrifying he doesn't sound that freaky but he's got a very interesting voice um okay so hopefully hopefully once i get this started you guys will finally be able to see what i'm doing um actually i'm gonna start with his eyes first We'll start with Sal's eyes. Okay. 
to turn it a little bit so I can see it. Sorry. If my head's in the shot, I apologize. I don't think it is, but. There. Now we've got two blue dots on the... <laughs> so you guys can finally see what I'm doing now. Okay. Um, so most of... Well... Okay, yeah. I think I'll, I think I'll go in with the light blue first and then layer the dark blue over it. Because really, the majority of the color is the same color that I just did as eyes. And then the dark blue is just like around like the edges. So, I'll just go in and paint all of his hair. These color. Certain Jeopardy theme music. <laughs> also, this seems like I mean that's the only light blue I have, I think, but it seems like it's a different color than the one that I normally use, but I guess not. It looks more like not teal, but I don't know. Maybe I was just expecting it to come out the exact picture in the or the, the exact color in the picture, and it's not that, and so it's throwing me off, but... Thank you, Kara. I'll go back in probably with, I mean, because I'm going to go in and do the dark blue after this, but to separate the different, um, different like hair chunks, I guess is what you'd call it. <laughs> um, the little, a, yeah, the different, um, like hair strands, individual hair strands. Um, I'll go in with a, artist pen afterwards and outline everything and that'll help give it some more definition
because right now it looks really flat, but once we add some shading in here, it'll look better, at least dimensional wise. Sorry, I, I say this every time I do an art stream. I really need to look up and find some copyright free music to play in the background so it's not just like awkward silence. Because <laughs> it's like I get focused on what I'm doing and then I'm like, oh yeah, you're on a stream, talk. <laughs> Say something. hitting my light again I don't know why it feel like it physically feels darker in here than it normally is normally does and it's still light outside so I know it can't be unless the Sun really causes or makes that much of a difference like two hours worth of daylight in the summer <laughs> When the lights are, or lights, the days are longer. I don't know. But it's, maybe my light's just like getting, I don't know. I have to use a smaller tip brush to get in between his ear. The rest of his hair. Sorry if my head's in the shot. I feel like it is. Okay. Um, I'll come back to the ear in a minute. Um, probably should have done that side first. Oops. Um, I try to do this without smudging the paint that I just did. <laughs>
So Kara, after I got home yesterday, before I took my makeup off, <laughs> I did a couple TikToks. Um, there was a video, a cosplayer that I had seen that was doing um, Sal's best, Sally Face's best friend, Larry. And um, he had done like a little um, scene from the game, like where Sal and Larry first meet each other. And um, so he had done, or she had done uh, Larry's part. And, um, I duetted it as Sal and did Sal's part. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll send it to you if you want to see it. If not, that's totally fine. <laughs> I sent it to Ellie, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'll send it to you after the stream. But yeah, it's it's this it's like where Larry and Sal meet for the first time. And obviously, I mean in the in that part of the game, technically Sal's wearing a mask, but I don't have a mask, so it was just the scar makeup that I did yesterday, but I still think it looked cool. Yeah, I'll send that to you as soon as the stream's over. <laughs> There's a, I actually did two. The other one, um, if you want to see the other one, I can. Um, the other one, uh, <laughs> it's at that point in the game for the second one, um, uh, Sal is introducing um Larry to one of the ghosts in the apartments and Larry didn't believe in ghosts up until that point because he'd never um he'd never seen one before so Sal takes him upstairs to where to this room where one of the ghosts lives and um introduces him and um but Larry does get like freaked out and like says the F word. So I don't know if you'd want to, if you'd want to watch that one or not. But he says like, holy fudge knuckles or something. But, um, so if you don't want to watch that one, like I won't send you that one. But the other one doesn't have any swearing in it. So, all right. I think that's all of his hair, except for that little spot I said I was going to get with the, fine detail brush because it's parts around his ears. All right, and his hair is not done. I still need to do the dark part, but at least the, the light blue is done. There we go. Hey, Ellie's back. How's, how's Satin doing? Okay, I don't know if this is going to be long, wide enough, but... So yeah, that'd be plenty wide. That's almost too wide for this one piece anyway. Actually, I probably will. Hold on. I need to outline everything first. Or, not everything, but...
all the parts where it's outlined in here. Discharge now has nothing excessive. Like I said, watch how far she's rubbing the molasses in her food. That means you the pills. <laughs> I'm sure she is. But I'm glad she's doing. I'm doing, glad she's doing okay. Yeah, I felt terrible when you said that that happened to her. I'm so sorry. But I'm glad she's on the mend. Or, well, maybe not on the mend, but she's doing better. See if someone's gonna hurt themselves, it's gonna be that crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh no. Has she hurt herself like this before? Or like anything similar to this? Because it sounds like it's something that's pretty typical for her. <laughs> At least that's what it sounds like. So I think I'm going to mix a little bit of both of these colors. Add some more shading.
to this extent she's tried to eat a paintbrush necklace and plastic spoon and tried to stick her nose in a fire and run head long into a wire fence so it's not for lack of trying on her part <laughs> but she's got a lot of great stories to tell <laughs> for sure that's so funny I was trying to blend those two colors together a little bit better which you guys can't see what I'm doing I didn't realize that until just now sorry pull this down a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing good grief hey cosmic how's it going <laughs> welcome to stream man how are you Hey, chillin'. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just some good Sunday, Sunday evening vibes. I got a little bit of a late start today because I was hanging out with some friends, or a friend, um, this afternoon and lost track of time, but I'm here. How's your Sunday going? Weekend? I actually kind of like how that looks. I don't know if I want to do that on the whole thing, but... I have to add some white text. Now that's too dark. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I want a little paint happy. Put too much on there. Because we were looking for some. I don't know if this is going to work or not. This might just. Kind of worked. Actually, that was perfect. Yippee. All right. Um, Yeah, I'm still stuck on, stuck on Sally Face, so that's why we're doing this one. <laughs> and two, I've been wanting to do a, um, <clears throat> I've been wanting to do an acrylic version of this, because this was the one that, this was the one that I did the, um, uh, crayon and pencil crayon back in. February and I was wanting to redo it um, with acrylics so feeling blue <laughs> yeah just a little bit <laughs> neck that is not his neck that is his hair
Now his hair's done. Okay. Now. Yeah, we got the Sunday blues going on over here. So I'm gonna start playing some I'll have a blue Christmas without you. <laughs> Christmas in June, it's a thing. <laughs> Maybe. I guess technically that's Christmas in July, but <laughs> oh, Cosmic, hold on. I forgot. I really need to figure out what's wrong with my faucet block because it's so annoying. All right, let me give you a shout out, friend. Hold on. Also, thank you for hosting. Yeah, I noticed. Thank you so much. All right, so there's Cosmic's link. Go check his channel out. He's another artist. He does um, watercolor, and you just started getting into acrylics, right? Or have you been doing acrylics for a while, and I just have not noticed until now? Because <laughs> that would totally be something that I would do. But um, he does kind of abstract stuff. But his stuff is really cool. So if you've never checked his channel out, definitely go check out his channel and give him a follow. Recent thing. Awesome. Okay. So I wasn't going crazy. I thought that, that was a recent thing, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, his, his art is like really cool. And it's like really abstract. But so you never know what you're going to get. But he kind of just lets... He kind of just lets things... Um, kind of go on the page and um at least from the way it looks on the stream for me anyway he might have a idea of how he wants it to look but I think it's really cool how cosmic how you just kind of let things um I can't think of what I'm trying to say anyway his stuff's cool go check him out <laughs> Let it go, like it. Yeah, yeah. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> All right, Sal has some, looks like he's got some very intense eyeliner, but <laughs> that's just the holes on the mask. Okay. And okay, thanks for thanks for stopping by, Kara. Hope you have a good night. That said, acrylics are taking a little more thought after the initial layout of things. Yeah, I can yeah. That last one you did the other day though was really cool with the the boxes i know it seemed like you were having some trouble with the um the shading or something on them but 
I think it turned out, I didn't see the end result, but from the part that I did see, it looked really good. Looks a bit different now. Oh, okay. Still working on it. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, we'll probably go for maybe another 20 minutes. May let it sit for a bit, fill out a new one for next stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guys, we got a little bit of a late start. We didn't really get as much done on this as I was thinking we would, but that's okay. It took me an hour to sketch it out, so um so it took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but that's okay. That just means we've definitely got something to work on next week, so and I need to get um, uh, Callie Bean won the um, giveaway and I need to get that sealed and sent out to her because <laughs> I feel so bad. I, t I texted her and told her that, um, or messaged her and told her that um, I was going to get it, try to, s try to get it sent out last week and I'll have to message her again and be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's still not done. Um, this last week was really crazy, so I just didn't get a chance to get around to it. Meanwhile, I've got a couple other projects I'm working on. Um, when you asked the other day, Cosmic, I wasn't working on it. Well, I was working on one project, but um, with Comic-Con, there was, I made a Sally mask. It ended up, I ended up not taking it with me because um, I didn't have a elastic to wear it. And I didn't think that I did, but I was going to... Um, I was going to clip, put glue like a clip to the back of it so I could like just clip it to my hair. And in order to get the clip to stay, I had to put like an inch of glue on the back of it. And um, it was too much glue and then the clip wouldn't actually clip shut. So that was a little bit of a fail, but... Um, yeah, I made that with a card, just like a plain cardboard Sally face mask. A little cockeyed. What did I do with it, actually? It's over there. I might show it here in a second, maybe. Um, it's nothing fancy. I literally just cut it out of some cardboard and threw some paint on it. <laughs> but, and I just painted over Sal's hair. Great. Okay. Fixed it. Okay. Now. Can't stay long. Wanted to pop in and check on you. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good night and a good week. Try to catch your... When are you streaming, Cosmic, when are you streaming next? Do you know? Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for hosting, friend. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the 
keeping the tab open. Two PM, eight PM, once or twice this week. Okay. Well if it's the eight PM I will try to make it. Two PM I'll be at work. <laughs> but if it's at eight PM I will try to hop on if I see you're live. And I'll be hosting you too when when you're live if somebody else isn't doesn't get on before you. Um that I've got on my host list, so. Just make sure you're the first person on, and then you'll definitely be the, the only person hosted. <laughs> no pressure. I stream her own kiddo. I get off at 1.30, then got her from 4 p.m. until bedtime. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Alright. Almost looks that almost looks purple. Kind of. A purplish blue. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the shading on this thing. Because it kind of looks like the same shade that I used for the purple side of the mask, but actually I think it is the same color. But to avoid confusion, confusion, I'll add some blue or something to it. Alright, Cosmic, have a good night. Thanks for stopping in, friend. Hope you have a good week. Thanks for the lurk. Alright. Um, yeah, this almost looks like it's got... It's kind of like a gray... Grayish purple. So, where's the... I guess I mixed all the white in with the purple. So it's like a grayish, grayish purple color, so. the right color I want or not, I can't see it. No, that purple is not affecting it at all. Let's try a bit darker. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I'm just taking this, I'm just going to shade around some of these, some of this hair. Actually, is that the smallest brush? No, it is not. I'm using this one. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, oh, thanks, Ellie. Thank you so much. Now I'm like, I'm liking how it's turning out. Trying to do some shading now. Hard to, to give them like a little um he's got like little marks under his eye eyes. I think that's just about it for the because I'll go back like I said I'll go back in um, with the artist pen and outline everything so I'll like define where the edge of his chin is and stuff later um, let's paint his Kia Ear and his uh, mask bolt things. That was way too much white, but it's okay. Excuse me. We have a whippoorwill. We have whippoorwills here on the property, on my property. Well, it's not my property, but the property that I rent from. Um, they have the loudest whippoorwills, like, all throughout the summer. And, like, I love birds, don't get me wrong. It's just the whippoorwills do not chirp until it is 9 p.m. or later. So I will be trying to sleep and there will be a whippoorwill screaming just outside my window <laughs> above my bed where I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but like there's one going crazy right now.
Oh, I forgot the yellow spot. I need to draw it in. I'm literally painting it right now, so just paint it in when I get to that point. Yeah, this is definitely going to take us at least three, at least two weeks to finish. Because <laughs> we're, we're not even close to getting sound done. Thankfully, like, his shirt is literally just black. So his shirt's not going to take long at all. And, um, I actually, I was going to paint his ear. But I think I'm going to leave that to, until I do his hand. Because it's got to be the same shade. Um... Because obviously it's his ear and his hand, it's his skin, so it's going to be the same, the same shade or similar shade. So, um, okay, and then I was going to take a gray, way too dark. paint that because I had some there was a tiny bit of gray that hadn't gotten mixed in with the black so I grabbed that but I got I grabbed the black instead so our black that was sitting like right next to it so it was more black than gray <laughs> so I'll have to paint that over gray here in a second when it dries My kid went to sleep. Okay. Hey, Gucci. All right. I feel like you guys haven't been able to see what I'm doing for like this entire stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I like, I must have pulled the tripod closer to the edge of the desk because now the, I mean the canvas isn't sitting off of the desk, but like, it's definitely down a lot further than I normally have it, so I probably just pulled the tripod closer this way without even realizing it. But, um... Alright, it's almost 9.30, so that was about the time I was going to stop anyway. So, we're at a, we're at a pretty good stopping point anyway, because we've got, we've got Sal's mask and hair done. Um... So... Um... So yeah, the, like I said, we'll do his ear and his neck and his hand all in his hands. Um, 
at one time so that it can be at least relatively close to the same color. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, guys, I hope you like it. Um, aw, thanks, Ellie. But yeah, that's, I'll pull it down so you guys can see the top of his hair. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got done today. And like I said, we got the, we've still got the rest of the sketch. So, and it's hard to see, I know, in the, I don't know if you guys, well, yeah, you can see Gizmo a little bit. So yeah, so we'll get, we'll get Gizmo and the rest of Sal, um, next week. Yeah, Cosmic. Oh, yeah, Cosmic's been here. He put on alert because I think he had to put Kiddo to bed. But, yeah, he's he's on alert right now. But, um, but yeah, so that's what we got done tonight, guys. I'm excited. I like how it's turning out. Um, so, yeah, so I'll, we'll plan on continuing this next week. Um, I know I've got, we still have to finish the elephant puzzle. And, um, uh, I was going to say, I have to do with the, um, oh, Callie Bean. Callie Bean, if you're watching the replay later, um, I'm so sorry I haven't gotten your painting to you yet. I will try my best to get that sealed and mailed out. Well, at least sealed this week and hopefully, Lord willing, mailed out by this week too. But, um, I will definitely let you know when I mail that out to you so you'll know when to expect it. But, um. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will sing us out and we'll call it a night. May the Lord, mighty Lord, bless and keep you forever. Grant you peace, perfect peace, peace in every your eyes and see his face full of grace forever may the lord mighty lord bless and keep you you guys so much for watching i hope you have a good week and i will see you on friday uh friday i think we're gonna um try to stream um some more security breach hopefully um i s mentioned on friday that we're done with sally face on the stream unless you guys just want me to revisit it for some reason later um i will post the um the cut scenes that i messed up um sometime soon i don't know when because i have to replay the entire chapter to get to that point so um but yeah so that's what we're planning to do friday so definitely come in for that um and see me get chased by the daycare worker again try to get past that part i'm still stuck on it but um but yeah so that'll be friday and like i said we'll we'll work some more on this next sunday but thank you guys so much for watching have a great week and i will see you guys later bye